everyone. I am host of the Amazon Files podcast and owner and creator of MommyIncome.com, where I use my almost 20 years of e-commerce experience to help people start and grow businesses on Amazon, specifically using my multi-million dollar wholesale bundle system. So I sell almost exclusively wholesale bundles on Amazon and you can learn all about that at mommyincome.com. But today I'm going to teach you how to apply for a GTIN exemption or GTIN exemption for your bundles so you can get them listed on Amazon. So one of the first things I'm going to do here is tell you the requirements for a GTIN exemption. A lot of people need GTIN exemptions because they don't have a GTIN. What is a GTIN? A GTIN is a global trade index number. It's a UPC, an EAN, uh, you know, the, the barcode that you need, the number for the barcode. So um, a G10 exemption is great for bundles. It's great from custom or handmade products, things that don't come or have their own UPCs, barcodes, G10s. So for the absolute full step-by-step -step training, the entire document and all of the notes, um, go to mommyincome.com slash G10 help. And that's where you're going to get this full entire step-by-step -step training. So so this is just a snippet of it showing you the exact process for GTIN exemptions. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through to how to apply for a GTIN exemption and what are the requirements in order to get accepted uh, um, with your GTIN exemption. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to... Um, Get your brand needs to be approved before you file for a GTIN. Um, the 2021 requirements say that Amazon must approve your brand um, before they'll give you a GTIN exemption for that brand. So whatever it is, or the brand that you're looking for, if you're creating your own brand, or maybe it's a new brand you're bringing to the table, um, the brand needs to be approved. So once your brand is approved, then you can apply for a GTIN exemption. So what is brand approval? Amazon requires all brands to be verified and approved before that they can be your products can be listed on the marketplace. So they need to approve any and all brands. They need to verify, vet, and get proof that this is a legitimate brand and not something that you're just kind of making up off the top of your head. But even if you are, you can still get brand approval. You just have to follow the processes. So what is the difference between brand approval and brand registry? They are not the same. Brand registry has different requirements and brand approval um, has lesser requirements. So let's go through those. Brand registry versus brand approval. Brand registry uh, eligibility requirements means that you need a U.S. trademark for your brand in order for it to be uh, registered on Amazon. So you have to have a trademark for that, which means that you either need a word or a design mark or both, and they have to be registered with the trademark. You need custom packaging, real life photos of your product and or your branding. And this is really the best level of protection. Now, in order to get a GTIN, a GTIN exemption, you need brand approval. And the significant way that it differs from brand registry is that you do not need a trademark in order to get brand approval. You're still going to need uh, real life photos of your packaging and or your product in order to show Amazon that it is a legitimate brand and that you have um, the requirements. Uh, it doesn't require a trademark, but you're going to need your either custom packaging or your logo and or uh, trademark name. You don't need a trademark, your custom brand name, whatever that is, printed on your product and or package. So once you have your brand approval by Amazon, you're ready to apply for your GTIN exemption. Again, visit mommyincome.com slash GTIN help for the full step-by-step uh, -step training for this. It talks about the brand approval, how you get your brand approval, and then how you're able to then file uh, follow the next steps for this GTIN exemption. So once you have your brand approval, you're ready for GTIN exemption. When you're applying, you need to choose the category of your products and you must type the brand exactly how you filed it for your brand approval. If it is not typed exactly, I'm talking about same caps or same um, special characters, whatever that is, it needs to be identical otherwise you will not be approved for your G10. So once you have done that and you see this screen here, then you're going to click um, check for eligibility which then the following screen will appear and you'll see it'll say continue to submit proof. It says you're eligible. This means that you did submit your brand approval. They did approve your brand. So now you're filing for your G10 exemption. And this is where you're going to upload two to nine images of your custom packaging and or product with your brand name on it. So click the continue to submit proof and then you're going to name your product. Now this could be either your the name, the actual title you plan to use in the listing, or you can just name your product as is right 
right here. Um, I suggest using your entire listing um, title here just so that there's no discrepancy between what you're trying to list and not. In case there's troubleshooting issues, you have the exact title you intend to create here. So then this is where you upload your images and then you click submit proof. And that's really all that it takes right now. The application is, will be complete and you can check 24 to 48 hours for review. In order to find out if your GTIN has been approved, you should be getting an email from Amazon. But if you don't, go to the add a product page and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and say check a GTIN exemption eligibility or requests. And at that point, it will show you um, whether or not you've been approved or it's still under review. Again, for the complete training for um, brand approval and how you file for that and all the step-by-steps, I've got this free training for you, mommyincome.com slash G10 help, and that will get you the entire training. So this is just a snippet of it. If you want the complete free training, go to mommyincome.com slash G10 help. I hope this helps. We'll see you guys next time.